until those Pennsylvania roads were making my stomach queasy. Lots of unmaintained roads and potholes and not very impressed with the roads in Pennsylvania, but we finally got here. We're at Francis Slocum State Park in Pennsylvania. It looks very nice. Yes, it does, Penny. It looks very nice. Courtney is checking us in. We'll see what happens. We're about 20 minutes early, but knock on wood, we've never had a problem getting here 20 minutes early. Okay, so our spot has 50 amp, but no water and no sewer. No water either. No. Do you want to fill up or do you think we're fine? We're only here till Sunday. And there is places to fill up water along over the way, so we can fill up our jugs. Okay. And there are showers. Cool. So we're up here, so we're just going to go straight and come down until you see, and this is our loop, and come around, and we're in 49. Awesome. Yep. All right, let's go. So Courtney got an email recently, actually from a couple of people, believe it or not, about the importance of having a surge protector even when you're plugging into 50. Because 50 is, in general, a way more reliable source of power. But we've heard a couple stories lately of power blips, power surges, even 50 amp power surges, and that fries your electronics in your rig, or, or at least can. So it's really important it's really important that you have a surge protector even if you're always at 50 amp hookups. We have this one from Progressive Industries. This is a newer one. We just bought this a couple months ago. Um, if we have it in, in our Amazon store, well, we, we might, I'm not sure. <laughs> but the point is, whether you get this one or you get some other one, just be sure you have a surge protector and use it as much as possible. All right, got that plugged in. And the way that surge protectors work after you first plug them in is it won't immediately start delivering power to your rig. So when we first started using them, we thought something was wrong or it was broken or we weren't doing something right because we plugged it in and there was nothing on inside. But the whole point of a surge protector is it will measure the power for a couple of minutes and the length depends on the surge protector that you get before it starts delivering power before it lets power through to your rig. So it wants to get a baseline, I guess, of what's going on in the power system before it lets power through. Once it's good, then it'll start delivering power and you're good to go. Francis Slocum State Park Modern Camping. Hmm. Hmm, Penny, it's modern. It's modern, Penny. All right, let's take a look around our campsite at Francis Slocum. Got our fire pit there. Lots of, well, I was going to say open, but at least not. No campsites behind us. It should be a nice quiet night. We have 50 amp hookups, no water or sewer, just 50 amp, which is nice. Yep. As you can see, the campground is not exactly full. We have some spots here. And the way this campground works is there's a section where you can have pets and there's a section where you can't. Apparently a lot of the state parks in Pennsylvania and New York restrict what sites you can have pets in. So, I mean, that's something new to us. We've never had to deal with that before. I, I don't know why that would be, but for whatever reason, that happens in Pennsylvania and New York. So we booked a pet friendly site. Be sure you do that if you're camping with pets. One of the reasons why we, we decided to stay here, and by that I mean one of the reasons why Courtney decided that we should stay here, is because of the internet. And I just did a test, we get 10 megabits down and 34 megabits up. That upload, that 34, is what the WeBoost 4GX is doing. It's helping the download some too, but the upload, it really kicks that up a notch. So I'm, I'm happy with those speeds. So the reason we're in this area is to go see Ricketts Glen, which is about 40 minutes from here. And that is a state park too, but I couldn't get very good data on what the internet for Verizon, or what cell signal for Verizon was like in Ricketts Glen. 
This place seemed promising given what I had seen. It didn't have a lot of data, but seemed promising. So that's why we're here because internet is important to us. We can do like one night, like last night at the Harvest Host without good internet, but a weekend without good internet and this guy will go crazy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And by the way, you can tell the sites where dogs are allowed because they make it very clear. <laughs> dogs are allowed in these sites. That might be why these sites are more crowded than the non-dog sites because everybody who RVs, and I do mean like 98% of people, probably have, have dogs. It seems like more than 50 at least. Oh, at least 75, easy. Well, I think there are probably four or five people in this campground and four of us are right here. <laughs> and we just came back from getting showers for the first time in like three days because we spent the last three days at a harvest host and you don't really have an I guess you could but we tend not to do that so I'm all clean shaven now they have one of those showers where you push the button and the water comes out for a few seconds and then ends so I mean there the idea is to save water and I understand that I get that but come on it was like 10 seconds if those showers were, I don't know, 30 seconds of water or something, with each button press, that wouldn't be so bad. But it gave us 10, 10 sec, that was so, oh my gosh, that was so annoying. But it was a hot shower, that's all good. I'm glad, I'm thankful for that, but 10 seconds, come on. You got more than that. You got more than that. Ooh, fresh made, well, soon to be a fresh made tortilla. A couple, Harvest House ago, we had these amazing tacos. Chipotle chicken. At the brewery, or at a brewery. It was Sacconi Brewery, mm -hmm. link above. And this is our version of like those to, tacos. It is. I like to make things that I've had at restaurants, try to like recreate them. This is pretty close from what we've been able to tell. We'll see. Yeah, that is delicious chicken. Mm. If, if you like chipotle, that chipotle seasoning. It's gonna be spicy. Yep. Chopping up some garlic. This is pickled garlic. I already pickled some onions if you want to get those out of the fridge for me. Oh, and then some oh, tomatoes. For you. Those are done. Pickled onions. Okay, I think it's gonna start plating. Okay, time for a test test. A test test? A test test, a taste test. A, a test test, okay. Though these are fresh homemade corn, tia, corn tortillas. Oh, wow, I can't speak right now. Um, the ones we had at the brewery were more like deep fried corn ones, but I think these will be even better. Mm. Okay, this is a new favorite. Was that good? Mm -hmm. This is one of the things about travel that people don't think about. If you go to restaurants and things when you travel, you can pick up cocktails or recipes that then you make in like everyday life and it reminds you of where you were when you originally had them. So So this reminds me or us of Sarah Sacconi Brewery. Exactly. In Pennsylvania. in Pennsylvania. And it always will. I think this will be a recipe we have for years. Apparently it reminds Penny of Sacconi Brewery as well. Hi. Everyone's very excited. Yes. Very excited. All right, we're going to eat dinner, watch some HGTV. We're going to stream it probably and then go to bed tomorrow. Because we have good internet. We are doing a hike. We're going to see at least 18 waterfalls on the same hike. It's supposed to rain, but I don't care. We're doing it anyway. We're going to take some raincoats, rain or shine. We're going to be out there seeing all those waterfalls. That will be in the next video. Isn't that a great teaser? It is. You oh. know how we love waterfalls. Yes. We'll link oh, yeah. up above to all the waterfalls we've been to before, but I think this one's going to be pretty cool because I don't think we've ever seen 18 in one hike before. Not even out west. I mean, you, you can't get that out west either, or at least not nowhere that we've been. So this is going to be really cool. Yeah. That's next video. But for now, we're going to eat dinner, watch some TV, and we'll stream some TV. And that's it. So, all right. Wave bye, everybody. All three girls. They're too I only see one girl waving. They're too interested in my food. 
They won't be getting any of this chicken. It's way too spicy, but I may have made an extra tortilla for them. Well, these girls are spoiled. For these two? For these two? Especially that one. That one's spoiled. They're both spoiled. They both have been helping cook dinner, haven't you? Have you been helping? You're both such good helpers. Yes, you're such good helpers. Yes. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you get to eat it up. No, that's my plate. Nope. <laughs> my plate. 